July 7, 2021, the president of Haiti was assassinated in his home asleep. Once again, the world looked on in shock and horror at this proud island nation, wondering what had become of it. With massive sections of the capital city cut off from government services, gangs increasing their power and control with vicious tactics, holding communities hostage, wrecking havoc on the economy and social life. I made a personal commitment in July, 2021 to not turn my eyes away from Haiti, to not harden my heart and give up hope and to journey with my Haitian colleagues to see what was possible in terms of projects, partnerships and funding. I began to hear the words which have become all too common. We didn't think it could get any worse and yet it has. Just a year ago, I walked the streets of Martisan. I climbed the mountains of garbage and pushed my way through the sludge that it had accumulated due to the blocked sewage canals. I found a spark of hope, and I think the whole world needs to know that it exists. I'd like you to meet Yolande, a 27-year-old woman resident of Martisan, who AFSI hired as part of a Cash for Work initiative to mobilize communities to clean the canals. Yolande embraced this backbreaking job and returned home each day with a new sense of purpose. And Jean-Claude, who grew up in Martisan and knows what his neighborhood is and can be, not an open sewer, but a vibrant section of capital, bustling with life, not death. As head of a cleaning crew, Jean-Claude got to taste again a sense of pride in his place and his people. Realistically, we know the recently cleaned canals could easily fill up again with trash and the work of Yolande and Jean-Claude could be undone. No matter the setbacks, no one can take away their experience of dreaming together, working side by side, and even celebrating one small victory together. No one can take away the spark of hope that one day they will live with the dignity they deserve. The spark that I caught a glimpse of may be a small and struggling flame, vulnerable to forces that seem much more powerful, trying to snuff it out. What part can I play in keeping that flame alive? All the money in the world cannot fix the layers of complex problems that Haiti faces today, but we can find a hint of one in these faces, in the resilience and spirit of Haitian people and the windows of opportunity to know, engage, and support their dreams.